Hey everyone, I did a quick pickup demo in lab the other day and somebody asked if I would record it. So here we go. This is the end result. I've got a couple different point items and I've even created a little user interface. So we go over and pick things up, you get points, and then there's also additional points you can get for other items. Okay, so let's go through and put this together. Okay, here we are, we've got a fresh scene. Let's build this out. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into the first person blueprint and we're going to add a points variable and we'll create a custom event for the points system. So under variables, click this plus, we'll call this points and then we will make that into an integer. Now to create the point system, we're just going to create a custom event, add a custom event, and we'll call this add points. And then we're going to add points. We're going to drag this out. I'm holding on the control key. We will increment. So I'm just going to hit plus and add. How many points are we going to add? I, I added 10 every time. And then we'll set, we'll reset the point. So I'm holding down the alt key. And that just makes it all so easy. Excellent. We'll call this points system. And then from there, we are going to compile this and we'll create our blueprint pickup. So how do we do that? I created a folder for my stuff with the blueprint pickup and the UMG, which is the interface we'll just add in a second. So we'll right click, create a blueprint class an actor class, just call this BP pickup one. One we'll double click and open this up. It's a pretty simple set of things. We'll add a couple components. We'll add a static mesh. We will also add a box collision. And then also I had the treasure item rotating. So let's kind of add a rotator rotating movement component. I made that a little slower at 90. And then we need to add the static mesh. So I added a treasure item. And I also then set up a system in the event graph so that when we collide with this, everything gets deleted and then uh, we call the point system. So let's go in and do that. So under event graph, when we collide with this box, call an event so on overlap. What do I want to do first? I want to destroy the actor. And then I want to call the point system. So we can just call this, we can cast to first person character by dragging off this other actor. And then from there we can call the add points function that we created. Awesome. Uh, the final thing I did also was I, I made a sound effect. So play sound and it was a coin sound. All right. So let's line that all up and compile. We can test it. Drop this in, hit play, it's rotating and great. Now we could have put a print statement to make sure that the points were actually added, but I'm pretty confident about that. So let's jump on to the next step, which was creating an interface. And to do that, we'll go into UMG, we'll right click, go under user interfaces, widget blueprint create that user widget. We'll call this UMG02. Open this up. And just like we did in the, the blueprint pickup, we want to reference the first person character because we want to talk to it and access the point system. So how do we do that? That's over in the graph. And on the pre-construct, I'm just going to call that. So the character blueprint, uh, get the player character, We'll talk to the cast to the first person 
character and then you can right click here and promote this to a variable. I'll just call this my or variable variable character. Something like that. Okay. Now that we've done that, let's set up the actual design of our user interface. So to do that, we need to add a canvas panel. So I'm going to drag that down into the hierarchy. And from there, I'll also create a horizontal box. A horizontal box will just hold elements that we're going to have in our user interface. It makes it easy to move around. I'm going to use the, I just used a couple text boxes. These are editable. You could use non-editable ones since we're really not editing these, but it's fine. Um, what do we want? In this first one, I wanted a points. I wanted points, the word points to show up. So that was points. And then also the background color. I wanted black on that. Okay. Um, also, we want this over in this corner. So we can select the horizontal box, drag this over. We can resize it a little bit. And we want it aligned to the, we want it anchored to the upper right hand corner. So I'm doing that. That's, this is the anchor item. And then also in terms of the way this fills in the space, this is um, a, kind of a subjective choice here, but I want this filled as much as possible and filled as much as possible. There we are. We can move this over a little bit. Great. Uh, I'll call it points. Okay. So we need to make sure that there's enough space for that to show up. And in this second box, same thing for the background color. And now this is the element that we want that's dynamic. So how do we do that? We go in and we would bind information so we can create a binding, but since we already set up the variable that's talking to the character blueprint, that's an option for binding as well. And hey, guess what? There it is right there for points. So now when we compile this, we could test this, but still nothing would show up because we haven't added this to the, the V port. So let's do that. And that's back in the first person character uh, blueprint. That's where I add it on begin play. So on event begin play, we create a widget. And what widget are we creating? It was the my umg02, and we add that to the viewport. Add to viewport. Cool. Let's test it now maybe add a couple of these just to make sure we we're actually incrementing correctly and 20 30 yes it works awesome so you can take this further by making different treasure types or different functions inside the character blueprint that get called and go from there even do better designs on the umg but this is the basic demo from yesterday if you want further information on umg i'll put a link in the notes below Hope that helps. See you next week.